All right, back at you here with uh, this would be part uh, 10. And what I'm wanting to show you here is these are the Timken bearings that go in the front hub. And the difference is, if you can look right there and look real close, I'll come over here and show you. Those inner races for that uh, front hub, it's a idler hub assembly. It doesn't have, it doesn't take brakes. It's not a rotor. It takes, it takes 60, eight one one eleven inner races the bearings will all interchange and fit uh, in both the front hub and the rear rotor hub so it's the the bearings are all the same only the front hub takes a an l68 111 in the front idler hub assembly it takes a L68-110 inner race for the rear rotor assembly where the brakes are at. That inner race is a 68-110. The front is a 68-111. The bearings are interchangeable though between the two. So that's really your only difference. The other thing I'm trying to show you here is there's the Volt hub. There's the inner seal. There's the inner seal, volt hub, inner seal. There's the seal that goes on the back. There's the wear ring or wear sleeve. It goes back against a one and three eighths uh, spindle. This seal is a thick seal. It's really a thick, big seal. It goes on right here on the spindle and this wear seal beats right up against it and this goes on first. You put RTV sealer all around this seal and on the spindle. You go ahead and put it on. This seal here is the one that goes under the wear sleeve in the groove that's on the spindle. This one will go right in that little groove. This wear sleeve pounds up over this seal and goes up against this seal in the back. This seal, the seal right there, That seal is the one that goes in the front idler or the rear brake rotor hub in the front. And then the volt assembly here, which is the volt cap, that pounds in and this seal then seals it as it goes in. So that's what I was just trying to show you. Those seals are what are really a difficult thing and I really don't have part numbers for you guys for those. Uh, I do have the seal, the, the, I do have the inner wear ring number and I do have this wear ring seal number. But these two seals I took guesses on and couldn't get them and I had to go to a marina and have them match up some they had laying around in some drawers. But uh, you might get a hold of Marine Master trailers and they may be able to send those to you but your best if you can take those off when you do a teardown and take them up to Tractor Supply or one of those kind of places and just try to match those seals up yourself because uh, they just almost act like those are impossible to find. So that's pretty much uh, what I was trying to show you, but that's the way that that lays out on each spindle. Uh, those two races right there, the one is a 68111, the big race up here at the top. That's the one that goes in at the top. Uh, this one down here is the 44610, that's the outer race. And uh, I only showed those pictures there like that, so just, just to show you those races that go with that front hub assembly. But uh, that wear sleeve right there, or wear ring, and those O-rings are the toughest part to find of all of it. And of course that uh, rear seal is too. That's a double lipped seal made especially for the Volt hubs. And down here then is the part list that I showed you earlier. and. Uh, I'll come down on the part list so that you can look at the parts that I ordered to make this happen. And you can see down here, and down here is where I wrote down these, these bearing numbers and these race numbers. And they're the inner outers, and you see for the front axle hub, idler assembly, hub only. They don't fit in the one in the back with the trailer brakes. I'll flip it over here and show you. Also, I uh, wrote down the uh, UFP stainless steel spindle wear ring. I got down your part numbers for that. Now this, this goes on this specific one now, and this is an 08 Marine Master trailer with the Volt hubs. Uh, the UFP, there's the O-ring that goes around that. 
I don't have the other O-ring numbers, but this one here I do have. So this O-ring and then this uh, wear sleeve, these go together. And I needed four of them. I did all of mine. I just think that if you do one, you should do them all. Uh, you know, anything over five or six years, you should just replace them all. Down here then, I wrote down the one and three eighths by one sixteenth uh, front hub that goes with the with that uh, it's, a, it's a dual axle trailer I pounded in my inner bearing inner bearing uh, cups and races it's not worth it to me I, you can pay 18 bucks and get them brand new and it's already got the race cups already driven in then all you got to do is get new bearings for it so that's my recommendation there's your part numbers this front hub does take these bearings right here this is the inner races that will come in that in this hub now if you're going to replace your own inner races and cups you're going to want to order these two races that go in that now the bearings are interchangeable from the front hub to the rear hub which is the one with the brakes and the rotor on it and down here is the rotors that i ordered for the back they do come with these inner races already in place but the same bearings will fit in both these two hubs so that's pretty much what I wanted to show you but uh, it's really not that bad of a job if you just have everything but I can promise you right now that you're looking at a good two-day project maybe three if you're gonna put on brakes and, and pull the brake lines off because what I did is I flushed out all my brake fluid from the master cylinder back and I did a complete work uh, flush out on the whole system I ended up uh, putting brand new fluid in it, so I ended up with brand new everything, and with everything completely done and me doing all the labor, I would say I had about 485 bucks in the whole job. Uh, so I just figured around 500 bucks. I ended up getting the the ST215 75R 14 inch Goodyear endurance tires uh, for $108 a piece at Discount Auto, and I got a $70 Goodyear rebate when I did it. Uh, so I ended up when I got everything said and done I had around three hundred dollars worth of tires because I took the tires off that I had and sold them for 150 bucks so I ended up with about 300 bucks in the tires and about 485 and, and a complete rebuild on the trailer uh, now I'm thinking about the squeaking and stuff that's coming out of it is going to be in the spring shackle assemblies and the bolts and now I'm going to decide whether just to put regular bushings back in the springs and the shackles or put in the uh, what they call wet bolts where you have greasable uh, zerk fittings on them. So I hope this has all helped you. And uh, here's just another quick look up here at those seals. Uh, there's your bolt hub, there's your uh, seal, there's all three of the O-rings, and there's your wear sleeve, and there's the bearings and races that it takes for the front hub assembly. Now if you've got, if you've got a single axle with brakes on it, those bearings right there will work but the inner races won't so you got to make sure you get the right ones i would just buy the whole hub assembly and forget it the rear hub assembly is complete with the races already in them were like 65 bucks and the front ones are only about 18 bucks so it's just cost effective just to get the whole thing and get brand new stuff all right i'm gonna go ahead and let you go then i hope it helped you and if you liked any of this and any of it helped you subscribe and like the channel thanks